my family members live in the freaking disgusting roach infested projects and I almost took their advice when they told me to go and get a real job just because I was having trouble monetizing my businesses for my dream at the time. These are people that go to work 10 to 12 hours a day, then go on social media and complain and post about how much they hate their job. But since I was having a downtime in my business, which is completely natural when you're doing it for the first time, they would tell me, go and get a real job. You guys might have that experience. You might still be experiencing this right now where you left the nine to five job right now, or you're thinking about leaving the nine to five job. You're telling your family members uh, your goals and your dreams and stuff like that. And they're saying, boy, please, or girl, please, you, you got a good job. Keep that job. You know, or if you quit already and they love to see when you fell in at your business so they can tell you to go and get a real job. Oh, you look like a scammer talking about this online business type stuff. But these are the people that are first in line when it actually pops off to ask you for some type of loan or wanna come check out your new vehicle or, or something like that. So as I said at the beginning of this video, uh, there is not one family member, even my father that was in the military and is well versed in a lot of different cultures, none of them out of my entire lineage has left the United States. My family has the mountains, my family of five, through my online business, after it actually finally clicked, I have the mountains as my backyard and I usually have oceans as my front yard when I, whenever I move somewhere. That never would have happened if I listened to them when they told me to get a real job. Guess what? I've been working since I was the age of 13. I had real jobs and I was miserable and I hated bosses and I hated myself because I knew I was worth more. I knew I was not supposed to be a freaking slave. You understand what I'm saying? So when they're telling you to get a real job, what they're telling you to do is get back in line. They don't know it. Don't blame them. Don't be upset with them. But they are the porch Negro that you heard about on the plantations that say, hey, you better, you know, do what master say or you're going to get whipped. You don't want to get in trouble. You don't want to do that when you're sitting here trying to devise a plan to free the freaking people. They're afraid to take a leap of faith. Like they rather stay in servitude because they fear the unknown. Before I left the job, before I left my last job in 2014, I was working at one of the highest paying jobs in St. Louis, a, a, a city bus driver. You understand what I'm saying? Without a, you know, a degree or whatever, we were making real good money, right? And I was telling these old heads, these are elders supposed to be wise, right? I was telling them that I wanted to leave and start a business. I was thinking to myself, hey, with all of our combined uh, experience in transportation, how come we don't start our own small transportation company? It don't have to be a competing company with the biggest companies, but we have enough knowledge and wisdom and experience to start our own business. You know what these old dudes told me? The people I'm supposed to look up to? Hey, youngster, it's hard finding a good job. You don't want to you don't want to lose this job right here, man. Just just stay safe, man. Don't even do that. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't mess it up for yourself, man. Don't you got a wife? Don't you got some kids and stuff? You you don't want to lose no good job like that. All I heard was like Uncle Tom's and Chicken George's and, and like, oh, I'm like, yo, dude, what are you telling me? You're my elder. You're supposed to inspire me. You're supposed to tell me to be courageous, go out and face the world even when I have fear. You understand? You're supposed to tell me, hey, you only uh, in your 20s. Go out and at least try it. These jobs will always be here. Guess what, guys? You're watching this right now. I'm going to be the first to tell you. You go out and try this stuff. Guess what's still going to be there if you decide it don't work out for you? The jobs will always be there. Your resumes will always be able to be updated. There will always be job fairs out there that you can go and stand in line and be miserable at and try to sell yourself to. I'd rather sell a product 
then sell myself to a nine to five slave plantation. Hence the name anti-job. Do you guys under freaking stand what this logo you, uh, it means? It used to say F a job, but I wanted to be a little bit more proper with it. And it's anti-job right now. I'm literally against that. Who am I against that from? For, well, anybody with an entrepreneurial spirit that feels like they're trapped. They know they were meant for more, but they're trapped on a slave plantation nine to five job because they can't figure out the way out. If you go to my other channel, Anti-Agency, that's where we teach the business models that actually help you liberate yourself, free yourself, take the shackles off your feet and your arms and your hands and all of that and your neck, the yoke of iron away from your neck so that you can actually live and be free. You were meant for freaking more, man. So when your family members, the same ones that's gonna ask you for a loan, the same ones that's going to want to stay in your house or tell you, dog, why you gotta show off on social media? Them the ones in the comments like, dog, now you just showing off. Dog, weren't you the same one that told me that this wasn't possible? Ain't you the one that told me that stuff was a scam? Ain't you the one that told me I should just keep my job? You're already in a career. You already got a career. Why don't you just keep the job? Just stay safe. Be stable. Check this out. Y'all are sitting here on social media whining about inflation. Entrepreneurs, whenever the prices of goods and services and the world go up, guess what we do? We'll just start creating more offers and increasing our prices. That's how we adapt. An entrepreneur can move mountains. You understand what I'm saying? With their mind. Do y'all understand that? We don't have to wait in line and complain about prices. We don't have to uh, uh, complain about presidents not increasing minimum wage or none of that type of stuff. We'll increase our own minimum wage. If you want to be anti-job, you have to start thinking the same freaking way. I understand it's scary and you don't know exactly what direct path to take to leave the job and all of that stuff. Take your time, but actually plan your exodus. A plan is an idea with action. You understand what I'm saying? An idea with actionable steps. Other than that, it's just a pipe dream if you're not going to actually start making your exes moves, your exodus moves, okay? So when your family don't support you, that's fine, that's good, right? I've got more love than com uh, 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 from complete strangers than from family members. I've had more people root me on and tell me, hey, I knew this would work from complete strangers in the comment section. Some of you guys are watching right now who feel closer to me than actual blood relatives. You understand what I'm saying? It remind me of the scripture in the Bible when uh, uh, Christ was teaching and he was talking with his disciples and somebody came up to him and said, your brother and your mother is out there. And he turned and looked and it was like, my brother and mother are these who keep my commandments. Basically, my folks is right here. Them people don't even agree with what I got going on. This is why I ain't in no hurry to go back to America. You understand? I don't, I don't go there. I don't touch land because I don't resonate with family and friends, so-called family and friends there. Never supported me before. Now, I don't hold any ill will to anybody like that, but I'm not going to go out of my way, right? Now is their turn to conform. Now is their turn to catch up. You understand what I'm saying? I want you guys to understand that you are valuable. God put a gift in you. It ain't just the passion. He put a gift in you for you to actually light the world with something that's, that's in you right now. And the more time you spend serving some other dude's or woman's dream at a nine to five job is dimming your light. You'll never understand what your purpose was. You'll never understand or realize what you were actually meant to do because they keep you busy and distracted and you'll never figure it out. Okay, you get one or two vacation a year for a couple damn days and you get a pat on the back and a little crumbs of bread with income taxes and you're supposed to be satisfied with that. Stop being happy slaves. Go subscribe to Anti-Agency. That is where you'll find the business models that can help you free yourself.